All right, guys, welcome to another one. This is a, a comparison between the 900 front diff and the 800 front diff out of a, what is it? Razor. A, Ranger Razor. The Ranger Razor. The 06, I think? 08. 08. First model ever. And then this is out of my uh, 2016 Polaris Ranger 900 XP, high lifter edition. So these are the differences in the front diffs. Um, we have casings. You can see the the neck bearing for the pinion is a whole lot bigger. This is it on this one compared to this puny little thing here on an 800. That little bearing right there, I guess there's two. Two little bearings. Well, what happened here? His sprag's good. It's a metal sprag this neck piece it broke off there was two bolts missing and it backed out which caused a little bit of damage to the teeth biggest difference is in the magnets yeah there's a big difference there the magnet here's the outer case it's the outer case 900 800. all this seems to be the same size so actually i'm going to be using this armature plate i know the name <laughs> uh because the one that was on my 900 the teeth were a little bent and i tried straightening them as good as i could but this one's perfect shape so i'm going to use the 800s and the 900 so we're rebuilding this 900 front diff to put in his 800 razor ranger razor uh 08 model and so we tested also yes the axles for the 800s 900s even 1000s all fit in these cups so we've changed the bearings on the cups. All right, those are new. And we're about to change the bearing on the pinion. It's in the freezer as we speak. And this was the old one. So uh, yeah, we're just rebuilding this diff. We're gonna put it in his machine before this upchurch ride. So I figured we kind of look at what the differences were. Uh, also, the ring and pinion, or at least the ring gear, looks just about identical. The pinions, these are the differences. Here's the 900 pinion, and here is the 800. They're a different shape for the neck. But as far as the diameter of the shaft, it's the same. So your drive shaft will still work. Uh, I put a 1000 front diff in this Ranger. It's a 900 XP and the drive shafts and the axles all fit in the same in the diff so as long as you can mount it to your vehicle uh you're good to go by upgrading to a bigger diff so this will be a good upgrade for his Rain ranger razor uh because of how light it is and uh it's on what 29.5 outlaw twos or something like that yeah so all right so we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this all right, this is the rebuild of the Ranger 900 front diff. So we put new bearings and seals in here and we've got new bearings and seals here. We've already stuck one of them down in there. And then like I said, here's the ring gear and that goes down first. There's a little tab on here, which you have to do. Oh yeah, we need to, that's what these are for down in here which we can go ahead and put that on. And this is what you do. Overlap. This goes on there. Like so. <laughs> Phone going off. This is the new bearing on this one. That'll go into the top through this seal. Keep and but the new sprag, we have that to drop in. So this is the new sprag. You getting everything? Good. Alright. The new sprag, I can only do this once. <laughs> so here we go. You cut this. Take the zip tie off and drop, oh, drop it down, drop it in. Uh -oh. oh no, 
We lost one. There's the sprag. I believe it's in here all the way. Okay. I believe it's good. All right. Okay, so we got it now. This is the armature plate. Uh, we had to align the notches up with the tabs here. And we dropped it back down using this little piece of plastic. That thing's nice. So now, this goes in the center here. Boop, just like that. And then we put on the top. So here goes that. Just like so. Have a little grease on the lip of that seal and on the lip of this. New, for, new bearings, new everything in her, except for the gears. And then hopefully, I'll uh, not mess the seal up going cool. down. Boom. She in. Nice. She's in. Miss Surrey. <coughs> nice. <laughs> it's back together, boys and girls. So next we just put the screws back in, maybe put a little dab of Loctite on them, and you should be good to go with this front diff, and it'll go in his machine. We're gonna put some oil in it and send him on his way with it. That way he can put it in his unit for this rod. So there's a rebuilt 900. We're gonna end up rebuilding his later down the road. And hopefully, well maybe I'll get a new armature plate for that one. But thank God he had that because uh, that one was all tweaked up. So we'll do this, but yep, y'all see the difference of the 800 and the 900 and us putting back together real quick the 900 front diff. If y'all would hit that like and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and we'll see you in the next one.